What is up everybody? How you doing? Happy New Year's Eve! I know, it's that time. Days are flying fast, time flying fast, everything. Look at this. Where is he? Did he leave the North Pole? To the North Pole? Well, he did that some point later on that night time. But he apparently is on top of our fridge, on top of a bag of cereal. Apparently he likes cereal. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're just going to move on today. It's going to shoot you here on this Saturday, New Year's Eve morning. First up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed your little Christmas break. Because we start school this coming Tuesday, which pretty stinks. Man, I wish it didn't. <laughs> so, I'm in the laundry room right now. See if there's any things that might have opened. Yep. So, as, how is that crazy, guys? You imagine, you just... Okay, then. Yeah, my dad told me to keep an eye on my sister's shoes because apparently she fell inside her shoes. Like where you put your feet in. Apparently she felt it was wet. So I had to keep an eye on it because my dad case says it keeps like bursting the door open with a little bit of force. Um, so it's going to get a little chilly out there today. It looks... Um, I don't know if we're actually going to get rain. Well, here we are. Ooh. Look at the afternoon, guys. Uh, what will be happening today? Well, there is a chance for some rain moving through during the afternoon hours. Yeah, that's so no this. Eh. I'm a Fox 59 person, just to let you guys know if you guys live in my area. <laughs> um... So yeah, um, so last night, so this morning, I had some twists and turns with my wireless Beats headphones. You know those little things that stick to like put in your ear? Yeah, one of them was lost. So I looked, looked I started looking and I realized it was downstairs on the floor by the couch, the big couch. My big couch. <laughs> um... So it's crazy, guys. There's Eve. Um, I'll make sure you guys. Um, I'll make sure to give you guys a little special New Year's Eve special countdown. Man, if my girlfriend didn't leave, I've been happy. We were going to do our first guess. My heart just start uh, tearing apart. Abby, my abs. <laughs> Say hi, Gus. <laughs> He's probably a little nervous, so oh well. So if you guys remember, um, if you guys seen these videos of people taking videos of the elf actually like moving, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do that, guys. Uh. -uh. I think that's like a little aerial secret thing. Because you're not supposed to watch an elf like that. Right, Gus? Right. That guy, that guess is funny. You're funny, Gus. So, speaking of that, that means my brother is going to start behaving now. My little brother, Jack. If I don't think remember you guys seeing him, but oh well. So he's been, our Gus has been accepted as our personal elf till next year of Christmas Eve. Then when it's Christmas Eve, he leaves and then goes back into another elf on the shelf box to get play. Well, not get play with, because that's the thing. You're not supposed to touch it. Unless you're an adult. If you're an adult, you can touch it. If you're a child, no. Uh-uh. You keep your hands off of that elf. Because rumors say, if you touch that elf, unless, you better listen, kids. 
If you touch that elf, he'll lose his magic. And that's a bad thing. Right, Gus? Yeah. He said yes. I can I can read his mind. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm like a evil wizard scientist who reads people's brains. <laughs> JK. Um But yeah guys, um comment below to tell me what you're gonna be doing this New Year's Eve night. Besides watching the ball drop, are you going to a party? Are you going to hang out with some family? Go to your boyfriend's or girlfriend's house and do a little midnight kiss after the ball drop? Because that was going to be my whole plan for tonight. I was going to invite my girlfriend Abby over to my house to see if she wanted to do a little something. Not, okay, just like a kiss. Not like, you know what I mean. I don't want, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> It might not want you guys to watch my channel anymore, so I'm not going to talk about it. Nope. Not a silk. Who's like bagel? Neither. Not a. <laughs> oh, goodness, guys. So, have you guys seen that Star Wars movie? Star Wars, a Star Wars Rogue One, the Star Wars story? Make sure to comment below. Um, then, guys, I am now accepting fan mail. If you guys not already knew that, if you did, if you're new to my channel, I'll make sure to put my address down in the description below. Um, so, if you guys want to send some fan mail to me, that's totally up to you. My address will be in the description below. Once again. I don't like the shoes are doing better. They're not like forcing the door open. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yesterday I had some twists and turns with my, you guys remember from yesterday, my devices weren't not cooperating with me. Is this an actual Pokemon right now? Surfing Pikachu. <laughs> and his move is surf by 30 damage. Well, that's crazy. So, guys, I just want to say have a happy New Year's to all. Um, so, and then, no. I'll go there. So yesterday, um, I got the key tag. Oh, do you want me to show you guys? 2017, this is from Wendy's. If you guys have ever wanted to go Wendy's, go to Wendy's. Um, let's have it out. Boom. I have $12 instead of 13 which is a good amount, though. So, 2017 is tomorrow. Woohoo! This is gonna be a blast. And what I mean by that, I mean literally a blast. You like chocolate Cheerios, don't you, Gus? He's he's just looking at the um, box of um, chocolate Cheerios. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit down. I'm, my legs are tired already. I got up at like 6.11 to go downstairs to see him. Oh. Where's my um, port? So yeah, guys. Um, so have you guys ever heard of these Elf on the Shelves? Um, have you ever had one before? Have you, if you got one before Christmas? Or at Christmas Day, uh, make sure to tell me that in the description, in the comment section below. Um, this is actually our first elf. Literally, our first elf. So, yeah, it's crazy. So. I don't know if you guys remember to say why you're not so talkative today. Well, I'm just so tired. I've been 
twists and turns within my whole things, my own life. Think too much about my mom. Guys, it's just a pain in the rear end after losing one of your member, family members. It's just hard. Because every time you think about something, you think about the person you that died. And I, that's the same way. See, my girlfriend... Um, here, let me pull it up. Abs. My abs. My lovable abs. Um, trust. <coughs> she said, It's been a long. Okay, so I said this after I said, But if you're too tired, it's okay. It's been a long day for me. I said, yes, a little. I've been thinking about my mom so much today. I know, I'm sorry. I wish I could do something. Text me, are you okay? A little. I need something to show me up. It's just like FaceTime. I'm sorry. Um, I'll do it tomorrow. So, hopefully that helps. Thinking about your members, your family members, is just so hard to deal with. What's the remote? Uh. Oh! Dang! Okay, I just saw when someone play um, actual, like, real golf. He swinged it from, I don't know, some far point, and then he made it. Is this music done? Because it's making me sad. Yay, it's finally done. See. All right, I'm going to look up that place right now. Gratty, that's my mom's name. Okay. In memory of Michelle Lee Grady. Michelle Rich Riker Grady, 41, Fishers passed away Thursday, July 2nd, 2009, at St. 
Vincent Hospital in Indianapolis. She was born April 27, 1968 in Kinderville, Indiana to Jerry and Virginia Spragu Richard. Record. She was a member of East 91st Street Christian Church of Indianapolis. She is survived by parents Jerry and Virginia Reichard, husband Tim Grady, son Christopher Grady, that's me, daughter Katie Grady, daughter Olivia Grady, and son Jack Grady, sister Teresa Harmon, oh my aunt Teresa, sister-in-law Shauna Jerry Beecher, sister-in-law Michelle Arvin Roberts, Arvin Roberts, father-in-law Robert and Ruth Grady, and many extended family members and friends. And then yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> so it's just, it's just sad to think about it. So. It's just hard to think about this. I mean, I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, you know what I mean? So that wraps up today. Um, if you guys are going out somewhere in the afternoon, maybe a raincoat would be okay to bring because it's supposed to be rainy out there in the morning. So I perhaps like a raincoat or something to um, bring out. If you guys did enjoy this little goodness you can use video, thank you guys for watching. And make sure to smash up that thumbs up. Make sure to comment and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any of my new videos. And you know where my subscribe button is going to be on the right. And you know where my previous video is going to be on to the left. Uh, that's it, guys. Have a great day. See you later. I'll make sure to upload a special for New Year's Eve. All right. Peace out, Luigi Mites.